What's up guys, today we're going to be shooting the Pentax 6.7. All right, so the one thing that obviously is the most notable part of the camera is it's insanely big. Uh, it's a tank, it's a lot to walk around with, but I think the upside of it is you definitely get out really amazing negatives, in my opinion. <laughs> he moves anyways. probably had it for around I would say maybe three four months now and the time that I've used it I've loved it I've loved the negatives that came back out of it I wouldn't really say there's a lot of downsides to it other than the weight I think everything you get back from it is definitely worth it in the long run but I know at times being someone that likes to be lightweight and run around without a backpack on stuff like that 
I think it definitely, the weight is the biggest hindrance on the camera. So if you're looking for something that's very stealthy and lightweight and you want to move around a lot, it's definitely not something that I would recommend. But as far as doing um, any professional portraiture work or landscape, I would definitely recommend it. I was not familiar with the medium format setup at all, but what made me enticed to purchase it was because it's an SLR style camera and I was shooting 35 millimeter at the time. And I thought that was a perfect transition into that. So the main reason I chose the, the second version um, opposed to the original model was the internal light meter. To me, that was kind of the game changer and I didn't really want to go for an external light meter. I know running around with the external light meter um, is something that um, wasn't really in my scope, I wasn't really thinking about that, uh, considering the 35 millimeter camera that I used before this, the Canon A1, it had a built-in light meter. So I thought it was only a perfect transition to going from that. So the first difficulty that I noticed while using the camera um, was loading it. Uh, I feel like putting, taking the spool off and then putting it on on the other side and then reeling the film through was very difficult for me. I don't know if I'm doing it properly or I learned the right way, but for me every time, especially in a sticky situation where I need to quick put a new roll in, um, I always found myself kind of stumbling on getting it in. All right, so those are my overall thoughts. I didn't want to think too hard about it. I just wanted to kind of improvise it and just kind of think about my opinions about it in the spur of the moment. Um, yeah, just not overthinking it. All right, so that being said, uh, let's get into the photos. So probably one of my favorite shots throughout that day um, was basically when the sun was going down, um, the light beaming through this staircase, mostly because of just the texture, uh, the pale colors that are in it, and I really liked how the, the little smoke stack um, in between on the far right hand side was like perfectly framed between this catwalk. And although it wasn't perfectly symmetrical, I feel like all of the geometry balanced itself out in the image. And I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe it. So I really like this one image of the bridge that we were walking by. Um, it's yellow, it's like pale blue. And I love the way that all the colors, like it feels so soft in it. And the bridge kind of looks like a DNA double helix. That was my first like thought when I saw it. I just thought it was really interesting. Um, it's a pretty common thing to see in the city of Milwaukee, but I feel like the perspective on it was, I thought it was pretty unique. I don't think a lot of people see it that way, especially that when they do see it, the parking lot would typically be filled. So another image that I really liked, um, mostly because it's very weird, um, the geometry in it is just very random. It's the shot that I took under the bridge. And what I thought was really interesting was the smokestack underneath the bridge, kind of balancing out the composition with the bridge above it. And if you're up close to it, you don't really know what it is. And I feel like that's a lot of things that I find interesting and a lot of work from other photographers that I look up to. Um, I love the obscure, I love the abstract, and mainly when I'm composing an image, I mainly just think of patterns. I just think of geometry. So at the end of the day, I don't think that these photos were some of my best work. However, I think that um, a lot of my favorite work that I've ever taken has been on this camera. So I've taken the camera many places. I've taken it traveling uh, across the country to LA and I feel like some of my favorite shots I've ever taken have been on that. Um, I've taken shots of my family, my friends, I've done landscapes, I've done the weird, the obscure, and I feel like everything that I've taken on it has been phenomenal. Um, the negatives are blow me away every time and it's funny because every time I do shoot the camera, I just say, oh, it's so heavy, I hate lugging it around. But then when I get the negatives back, I just think to myself, I can never sell this. But it's a constant battle with myself every single time I use it, just because of that weight. But it's funny that I always have that conflict with myself that at the end of every shoot, and I get the, the shots back, I think to myself, 
I should never sell it. But as I'm shooting it, sometimes I think that. To summarize the camera in general, um, if I would recommend it to anyone, I would have to say yes. As much negatives I would say from it. The weight to it, the ergonomics, and just the loading time with it, which I still have yet to get down. Um, at the end of the day, it's worth it. And I think that if you're looking to get back amazing negatives, I would highly recommend the camera to you. Um, but yet again, if you're a street photographer and you like to be lightweight, this is not for you. Some days I want to be lightweight and some days I don't. Thank you guys for watching my review of the Pentax 672. Um, many more videos pertaining to film to come, so stay tuned. Peace. Yes! That was it.